So we haven't done an unboxing video in a little while, and today we have the Arma Limitless V2. And I'm excited to try out this car. I don't really have a car like this in my, uh, in my collection at this point. Um, I have been getting rid of cars, so I thought this would fill a slot that I don't have. And I'm excited to see how fast we can get this to go. And uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the features, go over the new stuff on the box, and we're gonna open it up and show you what's inside. Capable of 110 plus miles an hour. Of course, we all know they're going way faster than that, but highly modified, very expensive. Um, I'm gonna, this is capable of 8S power. Um, for the drivetrain, I'm gonna start out with a um, eight skill, uh, 6S system and go from there. Uh, that's what I have right now and uh, to kind of decide what I want to do with the power system in this thing. Um, so let's get to what's going on on the box. You can see the car looks pretty sweet. All road speed bash rattle can roller, which means you have to paint your own body. Turn it on to this side here. This side has all the features. We're gonna just go over some of the new features. Um, different motor mount position. That way you can fit longer can motors and a different sized motors a lot easier. Um, it comes with the electronics module for bigger speed controls so you can fit the really big 8S speed controls in there. And it's also a more removable, easier access. Uh, safety input shaft so there's a D shape so even if the uh, pin comes loose it's uh, still gonna stay on there you'll still have some kind of control instead of just coming loose um, we got the new spool set up to uh, shorten the drive shafts at the center shafts to eliminate any vibration um, the sliding motor mount is a different design you know bigger can motors different stuff like that and it also has new gp5 differential gear ring and pinion gears on it we also have a rattle can body so the body looks to be pretty much the same style from what best i can tell maybe a little different but it's uh so you can paint your own so it just clear comes with a clear film on it um new different design chassis so the chassis is a little bit different probably to adjust for motor mount position and different things that they change so the chassis would have to be new um, 39 tooth mod spool in the center new front springs and sway bars so a little bit different spring setup um, an easy access center transmission with brace spool equal length drive shafts to rear motor mount so that's all the new features on this car. Now I have never had one of these in particular cars. I have a big uh, GT size car, but people have been getting this up to some serious speeds. I thought it'd be fun to, to try one. Um, I've been waiting for something different from Arma to come out. I haven't been too crazy about some of the stuff they've been releasing. Um, so I thought uh, this looked good. And we're also looking to uh, get the new Creighton 4S. So let's open this thing up and look inside. That's enough of the box stuff, but that just goes over all the new things that this has. But let's open up the back side here real quick. Sorry, we're doing it on this extremely small bench and this car is uh, pretty big. Start with the bag. Let's pull it out for you. Show what's in here. All right. So we got the the wrench and the Allen keys. This bag of parts is uh, extra body posts. Um, extra body posts. Not exactly sure what that stuff is. Maybe receiver cover. Um, antenna tube, um, the window window masks for the body, 
pre-cut set of decals. Limitless card information, which tells you battery sizes, motor mount holes, and gearing chart. That's gonna be pretty nice to have. I also got uh, extra shims for the diff gears. I'm guessing that's if there's any problems. They seem to be including that in a lot of their eight scale stuff. Um, here's the manual. Pretty basic, looks like decent setup. Got it in multiple languages. Even tells you how to paint your body. If you're new to it, it gives you a bunch of descriptions on how to, what to do, what to use, how to warm up your paint. If you're gonna use rattle cans, I am not gonna use rattle can. We're gonna airbrush this thing. Um, what's required, two 4S packs, two 3S packs. Um, so two 4 uh, yeah, two 4S. You could do two 3S, I'm sure this car is gonna do fine on 6S also. A battery charger, servo, etc. All those plastic pieces that were in the bag, they're diffuser inserts, so you can help with the uh, downforce on the rear of the car. Technical pack, exploded views of the shocks. Let's see what this has got in it. Yep, there's every part, all detailed. Uh, center spool views, gears. Warranty information. And what do we have left here? So we got the limitless sticker sheet. Like there's quite a few stickers. This is all the vents, diffusers, wings, uh, wings sides, etc. And here's some, some extra decals. If you want to spice up your paint job, this goes on the hood. Uh, actually, I think that's window, side windows. If you don't end up masking them off or whatever, etc. So that's all the stuff in the bag, which is quite a bit of Quite a few things with some helpful information. So what you get in the box. The bag is just sitting on top. Cars in there, packaged drill nice. See this clear body. Let's pull that out of there. Got it out of the box completely, and my first impressions are it's a lot longer than I imagined. This thing is huge, it's pretty big. Um, quite a long machine from front to back, it's a lot narrower than wide. That's what's going to make this thing a good so, so good for high speeds is the overall length. The massive wings, I mean, we're talking massive wings oh, oh wow extremely stiff suspension should have don't hear any air I don't hear any air in there so the body's pretty cool I think painted upright it's gonna look right I think the old version I wasn't interested in it because it came in, in that ugly blue that if everybody has one, they have a blue body. That was part of it. it. Wasn't really appealing, but for some reason, this one kind of appealed to me. So it has the rubber tethers, like Arma does on all their cars, but they are not inserted yet. They wait till after you paint the body. And pull off those clips. And get the body off here. Obviously, you can see the body is pre-cut, so that's awesome. Saves a ton of time. Don't need to do any trimming. The body is extremely thick uh the thickest arm of body i've seen yet that's nice because it's really going to help with the airflow um, being stiff like that and this front piece 
The front nose cone is just held on with looks like three screws. Um, pull off the front spoilers and then you'll have these. The front spoilers are also, you can see the lines inside here. That means they're trimmable. They just kind of give you some guide lines. Of course, the lowest cut is going to be highest speed. Highest downforce is leaving it all the way up. They have really huge side air dams. That's going to help with us uh, straight line stability. It's got the Arma crossover battery straps. That's uh, pretty cool. I do like Arma's battery straps because they're basically hook and loop all in one side. So you don't have to, a lot of manufacturers, the, they'll have a hook and loop and batteries are too big or too long. You can't get them to stick. Um, I like that about the Arma straps. Um, we can see we got the spool here, 39 tooth metal gear. Um, it doesn't look, I didn't see a pinion, so I'm guessing this thing does not come with a pinion gear. You're going to have to find your own depending on your power system, and I have no idea where to start with that at this point, but we will get into that later. Um, you can see that's got the top cross support here metal servo arm double uh, pivot ball suspension in the front uh, rear hub carrier suspension in the rear with the turnbuckles pretty fairly thick turnbuckles look like five millimeter and probably these look like a the four on the steering um, adjustable body mounts comes with extra body mounts for the front Keshi change body whatever you can find there is optional bodies out there for these cars from different manufacturers. Yeah, this thing looks pretty bad. It looks awesome. I mean, I'm stoked to try it. Um, I wanted to do an 8S system, but I don't even have enough batteries to do an 8S setup right. I'd have to buy batteries and everything. So I'm going to use what I got to get this thing started. And we're going to... See how fast we can go. The fastest speed I've ever had a remote control car up to was the eight scale infraction with the brushless system in it. And I got it up to, uh, I believe it was 78 miles an hour. And that was uh, pretty quick, but this should be easy to get to 100. And that's really my goal to start out with is let's get it up to 100. I don't know where I'm gonna run this thing. You gotta have smooth road, lots of space, no people. I have a few roads, but I don't know if they're nice enough to run a speed car that fast on. Yeah, but I'm excited about this. You can see that it's got the plastic chassis braces to go down. I mean, this thing is solid. So with the chassis brace, I mean, it's similar to their other eight scales. Let's tip this up so you take a look at the bottom. Hugh Mungo's front bumper. It's like an ABS plastic front bumper attached to the molded nylon or whatever this, this stuff is. And then the uh, even the shape of the chassis. Back here it probably helps with airflow, but even having the body or the chassis slightly bent on the sides and this shape's gonna help the strength. So with all the bracing, this thing is super solid. I like the diffuser. Pretty cool looking. Um, don't have many details on this car. Never had version one, only seen videos. And these things haul ass, they're super fast. So I'm excited to see what we can do on 6S. Uh, James McCoy, the guy that has the 204 mile an hour run on YouTube right now, which would be in a, a record if it was official um, for the fastest RC car. Um, and he, that's what the V1, Limitless. Um, he took this particular one out, the V2, just a shakedown run and did 4S and did 110 miles an hour on 4S. If it'll do that on 4S, 6S, I should be able to get well over 100 easily, no problem. So I'm not an expert on this car. I'm an expert on many things, lots of RC car stuff here and there. This is just a new 
a new model and a, a different experience that we're gonna deal with. So like I said, we're gonna do 6S to begin with, probably. I'm gonna try the Team Corrali 6S setup. It's way faster than my Max 8 that's in my Creighton. Um, I bought a motor already, so I just need to, so I'll probably just steal the ESE out of my Kronos. We'll bolt in this and see what it will do on 6S and uh, get this thing up to speed. Um, I am excited about painting the body. Um, like I said, I might do it with box art, which is still kind of a cool paint job. Um, I have all the colors. Or I might do something totally different. That's the thing about when I paint. I just kind of go with the flow. The body kind of tells me. This one, I'm looking for something that looks fast. So the box art doesn't really look fast. It's a cool paint job, but maybe we'll do something a little different. So I'm going to do a couple different things over the next few days. Uh, get out a painting video and then hopefully a running video shortly after that So please like subscribe and share hit the notification bell And stay tuned for more updates to this and we got the Creighton 4s coming up I know everybody on YouTube has one of those So I have to have one too and of course I'm gonna record it. So please watch those videos. Thank you